I am a good cook. I love cooking. Three meals a day for your three clients? Meals, three hot meals a day. I give, in the other houses, I give them two liters of drink per day. With the meals, of course. And usually with the meals, is like a, is a breakfast burger. McDonald's, if they knew what I made, they put them in the business. My bed is in there now yeah. because he can't get upstairs. Because he's old. Yeah. So I, I'm <laughs> ready to die. Hey, so so I, 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 I'll see swim downstairs. Eh? <laughs> don't want him to die alone. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice yeah. family atmosphere, you know what I mean? Well, a few pets. But they don't, the, the, the borders, the, 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 the homeless people are not up here. Okay, right on. Okay. This, this is a separate this, area. This is but he tried to go marijuana in, 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 his, in his room and beat up the carpet and everything else. And this so is I mean, you must, you have to, these damages would come out of your pocket. Out of my pocket. So, and this way, oh, he sorry. tore, he tore out all, all the cupboards and threw them out in the backyard. Down in the, in the area. In the Street, yep. Okay, another shelter, yeah. Yep. And there's that fella, he tore the, he was looking for something. He, he tore all the springs that had the couch and everything. Yeah. Did over so six thousand. Have higher insurance fees because oh of my it's God, a my insurance is way up there. Really, and some lots that they don't cover because, because the clientele. Right, they yeah. they know that I'm putting them in there. Yep, yeah. I'd like to clean that up. Wow, yeah, that's that's, that's a mess left behind. Yeah, in the washroom. Yeah. yeah, we gotta clean it up. So these are that's right. Most of them got mental health issues, and I and they something, don't they they they, 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 they they retaliate. And now sometimes we ask them to leave. Like for instance, sometimes we get uh, police come here at two, three o'clock in the morning, take them over to. The, can we say to the look, I think you should go to the store today, and get evaluated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe you're off your medication, or you need to be adjustment done the fine. So they bring them over to, 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 uh, to the hospital, hospital and then uh, usually Dr. Lotta and people just evaluates them and lets them go. And where did they come? Back. We take them back. Mm -hmm. And we have police officers come here and say, Mr. Fair, I don't care how much money you gets. You wouldn't pay me enough. I wouldn't even allow them on my street. Right. So this is the last, the this last is, effort, the last yes. chance. Yeah, this is it. I mean, they know that. They're told that when they, for instance, when they're kicked out of the Wiseman Center or the Tommy Sexton Center or Choices for Youth. Listen here, you fool up, you're on the street. Mr. Fair is your last resort. All right. We're heading downstairs at the Fair's house. We're going towards the shelter space now. Now, do you want me to turn off the, should I turn no, off the camera? Not, I won't show you, okay, I promise. Here's, here's Hi, how rooms. are you? Here's one of my rooms, there. Yeah. Here's one of my rooms. This is, this is the classic space that you would offer to one of your yeah. tenants, one yeah. of your clients? Yeah, this is one of my rooms, room. I got four down now here. So you get a little, you get yeah. a little yeah. sink, oh, you got four a TV? Rooms. And you got four different locations, you said? I got four different locations. Yeah. The other places, I got eight. Mostly, yeah. Right, little bedside table there as well. And do all of the rooms have windows? Yes, all of them got egress. They're all up, up the cold by city, city of St. John's. Hey, eh? we have more inspections here. The city comes in all the time and do inspect, but it's nothing to inspect. Once the windows, I mean, the egress, they got the certain get out. Uh, the boys have their own TVs and they have their own phone. Here the house, eh? Now this one here has a sink in it, but uh, most of them don't. Most okay. of them got their own, just you know. And so how much does a room like this cost you to set up, say, like with the bed, the furniture, the, you know, all the bells and whistles? I'd say maybe, I don't know, two, three hundred dollars. I don't know, I mean, I don't, you know what I mean? Well, if it's destroyed, then there's an added... Well, yes, but then I use Habitat for Humanity, you laugh at it, but I, I'm a wheeler and dealer. I go, I don't waste, I'm very fruitful. My poor grandfather taught me that lesson. And I'd like to ask about the cameras. I see, I see a lot of cameras in the corners. Yeah. Um, what's the purpose? The purpose is for their safety and our safety. Basically, the clientele we take here is, you know, it's, it's the, I don't mean the worst, or I shouldn't say the worst or the worst, but it's the ones that are kicked out of other shelters, who they can't handle, who they won't handle, and they come to our place. And we put the cameras in for their protection and for mine. And are they in every room? Not, only Not in the bedrooms, room. okay, only out in the common in the bathroom, space. Just in the main, main area here, okay? Outside, too. It's for themselves, you know, sometimes you get, very seldom you get the boys fight with each other, but sometimes you do, get, some people are aggressive, very... Or if something gets misplaced or stolen, or... Yeah, you know, well, that's right, if someone gets, loses something, they say, Mr. Fair, something was stolen in my room. Well, we'll... Can I ask you your name? Keith Boy Collins. Keith, uh, how long have you been staying here with the fairs? Um, like a week and a half. And, and what do you think of the place? Gorgeous. You like it? Yeah. And how often do you get a bite to eat here? Oh, three meals a day. It's awesome. And do you have internet access or telephone access? Um, there's telephone access, but there's no internet at the current moment. Well, I was 20 years in Mount Pearl, two years in Paradise, and doing the St. John's thing. 
Excellent. So if you weren't here, where would you be, do you think? Uh, well, currently I'm with AES, Advanced Education Skills, and I'm moving to another place by Casey Street. So do you feel that this place was helpful for you in, in getting your back on your feet? Yes. It's, these these guys are angels, if you ask me. Like, You know what I mean? I'd be on the street. Like. And so do they offer you a sense of family almost? Yep. They do? Yeah. If you had a problem, if you, if you needed help, if you had, like, I don't know, something on your mind, would you feel like you could talk to Leonard or Barb? Yeah. yeah. Has that ever happened? Um, no. Okay, so you're doing okay. Yes. Um, anything else? What, when you hear someone say that maybe the conditions in here are, you know, less than par or... I, they are perfect. Things good? Yes. How would you describe living here? Perfect. And will you stay for much longer, do you think? No. Nah. Well, I'm going to get my own room in a different place, but yeah, it's a really good place though. This place is really, really good for people that are in the streets, you know what I mean? Like, and like, would you ever consider going to the Wiseman Center, or did you try to go there? I was already in the Wiseman Center before, but I, I kicked out for smoking. Really? Yeah, but I use a vaporizer now, so... Are you allowed to vape in here? Or? Um, yeah. Yeah, the vaporizer doesn't hurt the, doesn't hurt the infrastructure. Excellent. Anything I'm missing? Anything else you'd like for people to know about this house? Uh, this house is awesome. I just praise the God every day, I guess. Where's your room? Can I see it? Is that okay? Here we go. We'll go this way. Okay, right on. Yes, bye. So you got a TV? You got, is that your computer? Right on. And so, um, week and a half. Do you feel that? Do you sort of feel at home here? Yeah. 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 And do you ever have friends over? Are you allowed to have friends over? Um. No, I don't think you're allowed to have friends. But people here can go into their, like your own know, buddies can go into the rooms and hang out and play video games. Not allowed to smoke, drink, or do drugs in while they're here in the house. Now, if they come home loaded or intoxicated in any way with drugs or anything, go to bed. That's all I ask them. I don't just kick them out, I tell them to go to bed. Don't make them ask themselves. For them who want to smoke, I had a smoke out here built for them. Okay? And I had to tear it down because the city didn't want me to have a smoke hut for them. They said it was not built to cold. That was only a lean to, so I built for them. For the it's a, a shelter. Winter. That's all. What, what kind of things do you keep on, on supply here, Leonard? Um, Pop-tarts, chips, candies. I buy a pile of candies from the, from the girl guides. And, and, you know, I buy, you know, everything. All the supplies that the kids would need. Uh, uh, these, uh, these things here, though, they love them. Get them for supper. You know, supper for treats for them. Uh, Two twenty-five for this plus, you know, real estate fees and all that stuff. And so how many people live here, Leonard? Right now, there's three upstairs and one down. And so what's the difference between this spot and, and the shelter that's underneath where you guys, you and Barb live? And this one here, the boys have more independence. We're trying to, you know, get them out there in the show living on their own, basically. Hey? They're not uh, under a camera. They're not surveillance. They, they, I'm trying to let them just know that, you know, boys, this is your home. So it's like a step closer to independence. Yeah. So when, because when they come to me, too, they also they're told that they got to look for a spot, okay? They're always, you know, going to find their own spot. It's just temporary with you. That's, that was my, that's what I am. I'm a temporary housing. I am not permanent. And that's the difference. Like, for instance, that one out in, 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 in CBS, she has a senior, she's a senior citizen's home. There's no comparison. You can't compare. Patty did trying to compare my place to hers. There's no comparison. I mean, totally different things. Different clientele. And her clientele at 9 and 10 o'clock at night got to bed. My time and Clint are giddy up go at 12 o'clock at night. Yeah. I mean, coming around to have oh a good time God. for the evening. Like, that's right. Like, sometimes I have, I go down to some of my fellas, and at 1 o'clock at night, they're, they're ready to party down. And the worst thing about it, you let one get away with it, all hell breaks loose. So basically, I go down and tell some this here, buddy, are you tired? And they said, no, I'm not tired. I said, well, single hill is up there. Look. Start walking. And when, you, when you're tired, come on back. I am. And do you have any, like, mental health or, or counselor training? No. Uh, my, my son is a doctor. He always laughs. He's dad, don't forget, he's just one signature away from me committing you. He's an under-signature. 
but, <laughs> but and you, for what you do, you don't. You're not required to have that kind of. Oh, no, I, I, I get all my experience from my mom and my dad. I mean, they were. Anybody knows the fairs in Grand Falls. My mom is. You know, I uh, I get some motion. Have any guidelines? And we think they should be all singing from the same songbook. All shelters like all yours. All shelters should be have guidelines. Simple as that. They never had them. So what we did, myself and Barb, we phoned Toronto. Toronto, the city of Toronto, spends $100 million a year in shelters. $100 million now. Wigby, next door, a person who's homeless out there can only spend two weeks out there. After that, they're kicked out. And where do they go? Toronto. Right on. Yeah. Toronto gets nailed with us, okay? He looks after all of them. Salvation Army down here, they get paid good bucks, same as I get paid, okay? Up in Toronto, the same Salvation Army charges $45 a night. Why is it $45 a night in Toronto and $150 to $200 a night down here? Why is that? Why do you think? Well, the reason why, because up in Toronto, they use a shelter as um, basically for housing people nighttime. They have a big gymnasium, bunk beds, puts everybody in there. You got to check in around the 7 o'clock, you get a, get, a, get a burp for yourself. Then at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, they're all kicked out and go to the soup kitchens. Right, so no meals provided. No, no. Yeah. I mean, this is shelter, just to have, cause you get them out of the cold. And it's a different service again. Mm -hmm. Different service, but this is what we should have down here. We, th we shouldn't be providing. Would you still make a living if that was the way it was? Well, not if, yes, I think, because I mean, if they're not going to provide it, I would. Simple as that. It's always a way to make money. My, 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 look after the nickels and the dimes and dollars. After them. So this thing here, I've repaired this myself. Okay? Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not a fantastic job, but it had to be done. It's got a rail. Simple as that. Yeah. And I do, I, I do most of the stuff myself. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> but I love working. All right, we are inside. Inside the Weymouth, is that right? Weymouth is Shelter? Weymouth yeah, okay. No. And so you come here three I times a day with the meals? Uh, yes. I do my breakfast in the morning, usually between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. And, and if you got three fellows here this morning upstairs, I put three meals in the kitchen, in the, sh in, in, in the fridge for them. And then at supper time, dinner time, around 12, 1 o'clock, I drop off dinner to them. And at supper time, I drop off a hot meal. Always, some supper is always a hot meal. Now, breakfast food is, not, is always hot too, so I make, I make some sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. But uh, supper, always hot. And uh, a two liter drink. I eat. I eat what they eat. I drink what they drink. I sleep where they sleep. But you don't see Perry Daly and the fellas saying, I, I mean, I have police officers, like I said, come, come to my place, say, Mr. Fear, I wouldn't allow them on my street, unless in my house. How you do it, you, won't, you wouldn't pay me enough money to take the clientele you're taking in. And I take the, like I said, I didn't mean the, I, they're, they're, they're a challenge. And uh, some other, uh, shelters can't handle a challenge, but they know fairs. Yeah, they got a place here. Well, well. Oh yeah, got some cola, got oh. some breakfast sandwiches. Do oh. they eat the food? Oh God, yes. Excellent. Jesus, they better eat the food. Do you like yeah. living here, Rod? Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Can I take your picture? Is that okay? That's okay. Were you surprised you get this one? Did you like it when you move over here? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you don't find it horrendous at all, do you? No. I had a person say it was. Place was horrendous. Oh my god, no. It's cozy. You feel it. It's cozy. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here probably about a week now. Is it like last, last Sunday or something? Uh, I think it was. And it. Is it helpful getting the meals every day too? Or? Oh, it's great, yeah. yeah. And have you ever had any problems here? No. Not a peep. Yeah. Excellent. Will you stay for much longer, do you think? Yeah, until I find until I find a place. I'll be here. Yeah, comfortable. No reason to want to move anywhere else. And safety concerns? Any safety issues? Or? Oh, you feel safe? Oh, yeah. Here at the Weymouth uh, location. Right, okay, right. Nice, nice clean bathroom here. Right. Yeah. Right.